Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to talk about the girlfriend experience. Mm. That world, I told them I was through with it. Yes. Ah, ah, uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen. So this is what you may think of when it comes to the girlfriend experience. But, you know, it's actually not that common for the girlfriend experience not to be this seductive and have all these sounds and whispers in hands. You know, a lot of popular girlfriend experiences have nothing to do with these kind of things. It's more of just the sound of a voice of a woman. Let me give you an example. I didn't like how close they were getting to you, so. <laughs> That's probably why you thought I was glued to your side. Plus, I don't trust some of them. Oh, no, they wouldn't hurt you, but I don't think any of them had the best intentions. But no one will ever hurt you when I'm around. Okay, so as you can see here, as you're listening to that, that is a wolf ASMR, a wolf girlfriend experience. So it's not always just about, you know, seeing, you know, chess pieces and you know, butt cheeks and all that. Sometimes it does come with simply just somebody's voice there. That's just a picture. That's just a picture and a voice. And that's what I'm trying to say, that the girlfriend experience is much more than just intimacy on a physical level. It can also be emotionally, mentally. And this is saying a lot about our society it, because people have gotten so lonely these days, especially when, you know, the hookup cultures and all those things going on, that more people aren't going out as much and doing these things, especially younger men. Young men aren't having these opportunities to go hook up as easily because of Tinder, Bumble, and all those kind of things where, you know, you just get based off your looks, right? And if you're not tall enough, if you ain't got enough money, women aren't going to want to be around you like that. So men are now having to go to other sources digitally. That's the reason OnlyFans has exploded, and that's the reason this kind of stuff is exploding. So you can see this woman isn't even like attractive in the sense of more sensual. This woman is just attractive because she's so close to you. You're looking into her eyes. You can see the feeling of your face and all those things. And this is just her face. A lot of her videos are just like this. This video in particular got over 200,000 views in nine days. And so look at that. It's not always about having to be really physical and having your breasts out or anything like that. Men aren't always looking for that. As you can see, sometimes some people just want to feel something. And that's what I'm trying to say, that when you see this push of OnlyFans and this push of pornography, it's not always just about the nudity. Sometimes it has to do with the feeling of feeling like someone is actually there for you because it can get extremely lonely, especially when girls aren't giving you attention, women aren't giving you attention. You're not seeing these things, so you get even more and more out of touch and you start to go more digital. And that's why VR gets so popular. But however, it's not just about getting this close to you and just touching your face or having the sensation of someone touching your face. But also, it's just about being around the girl. Let me take care of you. So even in this video, you can see she's just around you. She's putting on a blanket. She's just being there like as if this were the girlfriend you're chilling with after something had gone on. You're chilling in a cabin or anything like that. And even though you can see a little bit more on this, you're not really paying attention to that too much. It's just the tension of feeling that, right? It's just that you're getting that sensation, even though there's nothing going on yet. It's not about that. Now, I'd be foolish to not talk about how there are some videos that give you that immediate feeling, physical feeling that don't get popular. Okay, we don't need to see too much of that. We already understand how that goes. But nonetheless, there are more essential ones out there. 
But you'd be surprised. If you go look at the top rated girlfriend experience ASMRs, it is not these kind of videos. These videos are for getting that quick, you know. But that's not what men are always looking for. They're not looking for a quick one second or, you know, a quick two minutes, if you know what I'm talking about. They're looking for more. Oh, man, I feel like I'm in the room. I feel like I'm really with her. I feel like I'm really doing this. Because men, after a while, they need more than that. They need a lot more than that after a while. Okay. Intimacy is what a lot of people long for. I understand that pornography is very popular. I understand OnlyFans are very popular. And some guys are just trying to climax. I understand that. But I'm telling you, in most cases, that's not what men are looking for. Men are lonely and men are looking for women. I am going to talk about boyfriend ASMR as well. But I just wanted to touch on the men because, you know, I'm a man. So, huh, girlfriend experience. It is something that we're all longing for. It's something that we're all kind of wanting in this world. You know, and I understand, you know, all the years I was single before I got married, I understood that, you know, I was always longing for something. You know, I was deeply, um, I was deeply into a lot of things, a lot of sexual things that um, because I was always searching for something, you always want that because the when you don't get girlfriends or you don't get that kind of stuff, you know, growing up, you always want somebody to, let's be honest, you want somebody to be able to touch you, even in those intimate places, you know, if it just starts with your arm and then your leg and then other parts, you know, it's because somebody's actually touching the most intimate side of you that you wouldn't think that anybody would even care about when it comes to those things. So when pe- men go and watch these ASMRs and they watch these girlfriend experiences, it's like somebody actually seeing past just their weight or seeing past their looks or seeing past how much money they have. They're seeing more than them because you get so much rejection as a young man that it really starts to take a toll on you that you start to feel worthless. And these women in these ASMRs are bringing you some kind of worthiness. Even though you may see that they're talking to thousands and thousands of other men, it doesn't matter. To you at that moment, you are feeling something. So tell me, what do you think? Do you like the girlfriend experience? Have you ever watched ASMRs? Have you ever gotten into them? Have you gone to OnlyFans or if you looked at other stuff to feel that intimacy? Let me know in the comments down below. Hope you have a great day. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like this content, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Stay blessed. I love you guys.